Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at setting up our computer environment to be ready for Java development. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to verify if Java is installed on our machine. And to do that, we're going to open our command prompt, cmd, and type Java dash version. So Java dash version is supposed to give us the version of Java which is installed on our machine. But this response right here, Java is not recognized as an internal or external command or proper program or batch file, simply means that Java is not installed on our machine. We can verify that again by typing Java C, which is Java compiler dash version. And the response is the same. Java is not installed on our machine. So what we are now going to do is we're going to open a web browser and search for JDK. So open web browser and search for JDK. So JDK is Java Development Kit. So I'm going to type JDK download. The Java Development Kit. Click the first link. Right there you can see Oracle JDK. So click JDK download scroll down at the time of making this video jdk 16.0.2 is the latest so now under product of our description we're going to look for the jdk which is suitable with our operating system our operating system is windows so we've got windows x64 installer and windows x4 compressed archive so we are not interested in this zip file, but we are interested in the .exe, the installer. So now, we first need to confirm if our system is 64-bit. So to do that, we are going to open CMD again, CMD or command prompt, and type system info. System info will give us a lot of information about our system. Our interest is the system type. And right there, we can see that system type is x64 best PC. Others, it might be x32 dash best PC. So ours is a 16, 64 bit PC. So, which simply means the x64 installer is compatible with our operating system. So, I'm going to click there. I'll accept the license agreement and click download. Now, now that this file is downloading, I'm going to pause it because I have already downloaded this file before making this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my downloads folder. Straight to my downloads folder and open this file which I already downloaded. JDK-16.0.2 underscore windows dash 64 dash bin underscore bin. So double click to open it. The installation wizard has popped up. So I click next. Then here it's asking us to change or not to change the file, the folder in which we're going to store our JDK. But I'm okay with this folder, so I'll click next. And then we're going to wait for the installer to finish copying its files. Successfully installed. That's nice. So I'm going to click close. Now, the next thing we're going to do is set up our environment variables. And to do that, we type environment variable. Variables. Variables. So for the environment variables, I'll click there, and then my environment variables pops up. So our interest under system environment variable, under system variables is the path, this path. So I'm going to click 
edit and then I'm going to open the folder in which I installed my Java my JDK so that was local disk C program files and then Java JDK then I open the bin folder for the JDK so copy the path to the bin folder then go back to environment variables and add a new record there so C program files Java JDK desk 16.0.2 bin folder I'll click OK and click OK there. Now that I've set up my environment variables, I'm going to verify if using the command prompt, if Java has now been installed. So after my CMD has opened, I type Java dash version, press enter. Wow. So Java version 16.0.2.2021.07.20. So that simply means Java has been installed. We can confirm that again by opening the Java compiler. So that is Java C dash version. And it has given us the version 16.0.2. Wow, friends, that is how you install the JDK on your machine. And thanks so much for watching this tutorial. We're going to see you in the next tutorial.